Hello! Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Redux. Uh, last time we finished off, uh, Dungeon 5, and got... I think it's the last of the overworld heart pieces, heart containers? Maybe not, I don't know, but we also got the magic sword. That's, that's the important thing last time. It's not the Triforce piece at a level 5, it's the, ma it's the magic sword. Okay, I've made my way back to, uh, level 6, so we can start right here, this part, and just dive right on in. We are well beyond any dungeons that I have familiarity with. Oh, oh, these are much easier than they were in <laughs> Doom. I don't know why that game... Why that, uh... Let's call it a hack. It's not a hack. I don't know why that, uh... What? Mod? Whatever. Made Wizard so hard. Aim for the Eye of Goma. Haven't I already fought a Goma up to this point? I think this hack also replaces the duplicate Aquamentis boss, which was the first bo Okay, that's something we have not seen yet. There is like a, um, I don't know how to, I don't know what to call it. It's like the, a room master or something. It's like the, the number one enemy placed in the room. And if you kill that one, all the enemies in the room die. We have not seen that happen yet. I don't think it'll apply to every room, but I mean, it, it it's nice when it happens, especially there when it was all with ropes. Ow. I think it's the magic rod in this dungeon. I don't know that it's actually any good. I know that the actual physical rod that you, like, poke out can do damage. And if you get the book, it can create fire. But I don't think there's an actual use for it in-game. I know that there is a trick with it that'll let you do a ton of damage. Oh, right, you can't actually use the boomerang to pick up, um, room items, only enemy dropped items. Yeah, if you, like, swing your sword at the same time you stick out the wand, you can do extra damage. That might have been patched in this as well. I actually don't need to kill them, but I hate with ropes, so I'm gonna kill them. I believe in the second quest, there's a lot more of them. Early and er, er, and if I can, I can ever learn a word, and earlier on too. I think. Uh, let's let's keep going up. Okay then. Casual three-headed Gliak as a regular enemy. There's the map. Hmm. I know what the room to the south is. I don't know if I can loop around to the room to the north. I have too many items now to just. Ow, okay, so they didn't patch that. Your fire hurts you, your bomb explosions do not. That's just the base game. Okay, can I go to the room to the left? Will that save me a key? I mean, yeah, I have to bomb it. Yeah, I have too many items now to just select to them. I can go to the right, too. I believe... Oh, stupid bubble. 
I believe... Well, we almost got a chance to see it. I believe like like steel rubies in this instead of taking your shield. That is also a little bit too easy, in my opinion. This looks like it's going to have the treasure. Ow. Maybe? Do the treasure or a passage? It is, in fact, the, the wand, the rod, whatever it is. Yeah, once I get the book, when that hits the, the wall, it creates fire. But I can't actually... Hmm. I got it once. Huh. I wonder if it's a little tighter because of the, um... Or a little weirder because of the, uh... The sword slash now. Wisdom lies under a fairyless pond. Okay, that's telling me we're level 7? I want to say? Is that... Hmm. Okay, so... Wizard robes are, in fact, immune to the, wand, the rod. Wow, I've taken a lot of damage. I've not been paying attention because I'm just healthy. Wizard robes hurt. I did not know they could get in the doorway. That is unfortunate. I know the bubbles don't hurt, but they take away your sword. Okay, then we have another room we can go to that I passed up. Do we use a key? No. I think I've already opened that, haven't I? As if you can respond in real time. Of course, they don't drop any health. Oh, okay. I did not intend to go back out. If you are unfamiliar, bomb walls, like, kind of suck you in. You actually have to go through an, an open door, but if you touch an open bomb, bombed wall, you just go right through it. It pulls you through it. You have no choice. This is life now. And immediately take the heart away. Cool. Okay, I don't need to use a key. And you're still dark. That was not... faster. Okay. Hmm. I thought, it, I thought they dropped items when they didn't turn into the, uh... small things. I think I should... Does this hack not have the heartbeats? Because I should definitely have the heartbeats. Ow! Yeah, I should have the heartbeats. I'm going to use a potion. I do not want to redo the dungeon. Now watch, like, everything left drop a fairy. Nope. Okay, then. Potion warranted. Hey, yeah, I definitely needed that. Nothing dropped anything. I was gonna say I could really use health for this boss, but it's a Goma, so I don't. They're not difficult. I'll always take a key. Rude bubble. Okay, what's down here? I'm assuming a trap room. Yep. 
with jerk robes. I just said Gum was not difficult, and I didn't mean to dumpster him so hard. Okay. Okay. Um... I think what I'm gonna do is... Mm, yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, let's, let's just continue. I don't need to save. Uh, I want to replace my potion. I would also like to check if, um... I don't remember if it's in the original, if you can just get two blues to make a red. That would be nice. Save a little bit of money. Rude. That was my... Quarter heart. It does. All right, good. I'm assuming that's not the hack. All right, so level seven, we got the hint in level six. The fairyless pawn. We've already been up here to the very full pond. And since I have no other reason to go over here, maybe this is where we get the hint for the woods. Well, I don't have anything left to buy, so I am just going to uh, go for it. If this is a door, a, a door repair. Okay, it's a secret. So I think it is the um, all the all of the ten rubies. So I think it is the uh, the hint lady. It might also be in the the um, the waterfall. There's a hint room in there. He could just walk over the lake. Something's up with this water. Yeah, we got a hint for this in level six. This is a fairly big dungeon from what I remember, but we should have time. I'm actually not going to pick this up. I am full on bombs. right into me. I am also not going to pick those up. Well, not yet. Let's bomb these walls. Well, I picked up something. Spawned right underneath me. those ropes. They are not snakes, they are ropes. I I can genuinely not see a reason to kill these things. Alright. You wish to carry more bombs? Yes! Now I will never run out of bombs. They really should have spaced these out. I don't know, level three or four for the first one. Wow, 
walk into me like that. Lag. Okay. We're good. So I think it was... No, it was this part, I think. Whatever, whatever part it was, I mentioned the, like, leader enemy that clears the room. If an enemy like that, uh, Stalfos, had an item inside of it, that will also be the leader enemy. If, it, if a room has that kind of, uh, enemy setup, it will be that enemy that has the item inside of it as well. I don't think there's any of those in the first quest, though. Another dig dogger. I'm not gonna get that just for one bomb. Dead end. Maybe flag. Last enemy drops the clock. You know what? Let's pick him up this time. I'm not gonna come back. Uh, probably. Spectacle Rock is a gateway to death. Yes. Spectacle Rock is the final dungeon. Bomb door suck is real. <laughs> I have not been up here. Anybody want to give me a, a heart and not walk into me? Okay, let, just, let's just leave them. They're rude. <sighs> that was a nice heart I had once. Oh, there we go. Take his. Another Dig Dogger, alright. You can't handle Link's sick jams. Oh, that was a bomb wall in the other side of that room. It's real nice that the enemies can just walk into you while you're attacking them. That also hasn't come up. Uh, the clock also makes you invincible. It's not just that the enemies stop, you are also invincible. So if you get stuck in a room, you can't even body yourself. Is so we gonna actually have anything in it? I mean, a key, that's nice. I don't think we can roll over the key to A keys. And not just because I have to spin one right now. Grumble, grumble. Okay, so we did actually need the bait right away. Alright. So it is a good thing I went all of our creation getting one last time. Other than this, I think it actually attracts enemies, or it's supposed to. I don't, I don't remember that actually working, but I think it's supposed to. Map. Oh. Sick cash money room. And there's a bomb wall here. I could do this to skip the 
Hawk door, maybe? Earlier dungeons, I'd say, for sure. Later dungeons, I don't know if that actually will skip things or if they're required. Okay. Um. Yeah, this is, the, this is where the locked door took me. Which is essentially a trap room since I don't... Oh, there's a... I'm a wall over there, too. What we got? Stairway. And a boss roar. Hmm. Oh, no, never mind. We're right next to the boss room. Okay. My guy. Now, is this a passage or an item? An item! Cool. Alright. Now we have the red candle. I don't think I've explained this. If you are unfamiliar, the blue candle you can only use it once per screen. The red candle you can use infinitely. Which makes it a decent weapon. Question. Do I keep looking around for stuff or do I just kill the boss? I think I just kill the boss. Oh, was that roar a tease? No, it's the boss is to the south. Okay, never mind. Okay. So I'm gonna have to spin some keys. Another one of these things. There was two of them there. Bombs. Um, well, since I gotta finish off the place anyways, let's go back and map the room, room north of this. Okay, everything stayed dead. That's nice. better than I expected. Those things make a lot of lag. And everything's back in here. Rude. Well, I kind of wanted a heart, but... Why did their boomerangs kill me, and my boomerang only kills bats? Is this required? No, I'm actually... I actually missed a room. No, no, that's... Never mind, that's gonna be part of the boss, then. So yeah, going through here is actually required. Another Dig Dogger. They really like this boss, I guess. Also this boss. Which is actually uh, treated as a regular enemy, so they always respawn. Unfortunate. Like literally the last last room and I keep getting my sword taken away. Up. Oh, if these bad touches touch me, 
Go back to the start of the dungeon. Don't you push me into them. Is that all of them? Okay. But I did actually have to kill them. So I can push that block. Normally the repeat Aquamentis. Okay, it still is. I thought this hack. I thought this hack uh, changed that. Might be thinking of something else. As you can see, it's pretty much a joke once you have the magic shield and anything above the. Actually, the magic shield. That, that's it. The magic shield makes it a joke. Okay. There's not much more left. There are two dungeons. As my phone goes off, I am getting tired of that. I have it muted, and, it's, and it doesn't care. But okay. Um, I thought I was actually in the, uh, the graveyard. Let's go to the graveyard. I definitely do not have time for level 8. Level 8 is, uh, a bush. It's a very obvious bush. I did not realize this was here. If you go along the top of the tile, you actually do not go into the stairs. I don't know if that's a door repair or what, but quick way through. Yeah, the, level 8 is way, way to the east. Level 9, I know level 9 is going to be pretty big. I hope I don't have to, but I might have to split level 8 and 9 into their own videos. That'll be unfortunate, because I don't think level 8 is going to be that long. But level 9 will be pretty long. I'm going to finish mapping the overworld and also opening up level 9 because it's up here. We did get the hint about uh, Spectacle Rock. Ow. Ow. Ow! Let me get the fairy! Thank you. Rude. Leg is a feature. I think it's over here. No, it's not over here. Huh. Did I already get access to it? It might be... Okay, I must have already gotten access to it. I thought it was over here. Okay, well, I must have already had access to it then. It should be just to the right, like two screens to the right. And apparently not the ones filled with Lynels. Ow. I mean, I say that, but there's still a lot of Lynels. I don't know why I'm continuing to go there. Ow! So take a sword to the back. Yeah, we did already open it before. Ow. 
Okay. So, uh, well, that's it for the overworld exploration. So next time, we will tackle level eight. Uh, we'll see what kind of how long that takes. If it's not, if it's not as long as I'm thinking, we may also be able to do level nine. In the same video. But I do know that nine is pretty lengthy. I can use the I could use a map and try to skip through a bunch of stuff, but I'd rather not if I can help it because I, I want to show off as much as I can. I say that, and I still plan on skipping the second quest. I uh, do not like the second quest. Um, yeah, but that's going to be it for this part. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you stick around for more. And thanks for watching.